with a mystery bunch on a journey to strengthen our Amen. So come and join the fun, everyone. Come and see what's going on. As Abu Walid helps us on our way, making sure we don't go astray. Many problems we face every day, but there's lessons that we learn along the way. Cause every step we take, every move we make, everything we say, Allah is watching us. If we remember Him, He will remember us. In Him we put our trust, and that's enough for us. With a mystery bunch, and together we learn about Allah. With a mystery bunch, on a journey to strengthen our Iman. So come and join the fun, everyone. Come and see what's going on. Sultan, what's the matter? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Then shouldn't you go out and look for some food then? I asked Allah for food, but he didn't give me any. I've been waiting here all day. All day? Silly Sultan. It's good you asked Allah for food, but you have to do your bit and you have to go out looking for food. And Allah will provide for you. In fact, that reminds me of a story called Blueberries for Breakfast. I like blueberries. Yes, so do I. It's story time. Screen. <laughs> Cherries only grow near an old oak tree deep in the valley of Aden. Every morning Um Hafsa would travel very far to pick a bowl of cherries. She would then take the bowl of cherries back to Madian and hide them under some rocks. Um Hafsa would quietly go home and pretend to be asleep. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! I want cherries for breakfast, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa and her mother got ready to go out to look for some cherries. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? Bismillah, with the name of Allah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. We put our trust in Allah. Wala hawla, wala quwwata illa billah. There is no mind or power except with Allah. Hafsa looked here and she looked there. She looked everywhere. Ummi, I can't find cherries anywhere, said Hafsa. Try looking under those rocks, said Ummi. How did you know they were there, Ummi? Well, didn't we make dua to Allah as we left home? We said, Tawakkaltu ala Allah. I have placed my trust in Allah. And do you know how to put your trust in Allah, Hafsa? Um, I never thought about that. How do we put our trust in Allah, Ummi? said Hafsa. To put our trust in Allah is like what the birds do every morning. They rely on Allah first and then they go out looking for food. And Allah makes them come back home in the evening with a full belly. So we have to do our bit and rely on Allah because He is our razaq The next morning, Um Hafsa went all the way to the valley of Aden to collect more cherries. This time, she hid the cherries in a hole and hurried back home. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and look for some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? said Ummi. Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Bismillah, with the name of Allah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, we put our trust in Allah. وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ There is no mind or power except with Allah. Hafsa looked here and she looked there. She looked everywhere but she couldn't find any cherries. Only I can't find any cherries. I even looked behind the rocks. 
But there's none there, said Hafsa, all frustrated. Have you checked that hole? Maybe you'll find some there, said Ummi. How did you know they were there, Ummi? Allah is a razaq and he provides for all of his creation. Did you put your trust in Allah today? Yes, Ummi. So Allah will provide for us if we put our trust in him? Yes, but you have to do your bit by looking for food and Allah will provide for you. The next morning, Um Hafsa went and got more cherries, but this time she hid the cherries behind a bush. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and look for some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Hafsa, what is the dua we say before we go outside? Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Bismillah, with the name of Allah, tawakkaltu ala Allah. We put our trust in Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. There is no might or power except with Allah. Hafsa looked here, and she looked there. She looked everywhere, but she couldn't find any cherries. Ummi, I can't find any cherries. I looked behind the rocks, and I looked inside of the hole, but I couldn't find anything. Have you checked that bush? Maybe you'll find some there, said Ummi. Alhamdulillah, there is some cherries here. But Ummi, does Allah provide for everyone? Allah is a razaq and he provides for all of his creation from the biggest whale in the ocean to even the smallest ants. Only who provides for Allah? said Hafsa. Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anything or anyone but everything and everyone needs him said Ummi. The following day when Umm Hafsa reached the cherry trees in the valley of Aden there were no more cherries there. Oh no! What am I going to do? Hafsa loves cherries, but there's no more cherries left, said Umm Hafsa. She went home quickly and went back to bed before Hafsa came to wake her up. Ummi, Ummi, wake up! Let's go and find some cherries, said Hafsa as she pulled her mother. Ummi was worried. She didn't find any cherries today. What is she going to tell Hafsa? Pulling her mother along, Hafsa started making her dua. Bismillah, tawakkaltu ala Allah, wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah, said Hafsa while dragging her mother. Hafsa looked here, and she looked there. She looked everywhere, but she couldn't find any cherries. Ummi, I can't find cherries anywhere. Ummi, why are you crying? Don't worry, I'll find some cherries. Maybe it's behind the rocks. Or inside of the hole. Or behind the bush. Hafsa carried on looking. Ummi was upset. Ummi knew that Hafsa won't find any cherries. There were no cherries on the tree this morning. Seeing Ummi cry, Hafsa jumped into a bush. Look, Ummi. Allah has provided us with blueberries. Allah is a rosic and he provides for all his creations. So don't worry. Ummi smiled as she was reminded by Hafsa about Allah. Ummi gave Hafsa a badge. It has the name Ar-Razaq written on it. Ar-Razaq is one of the names of Allah, which means Allah is the provider. You say it. Ar-Razaq. Ar-Razaq. Allah is Ar-Razaq, the provider, and he provides for all of his creation. Hafsa and her mother went home to enjoy blueberries for breakfast this time. The end. Now, did you enjoy that tasty story? Salsal, did you understand? You have to put your trust in Allah and then go out looking for food. And Allah will provide for you. Insha'Allah. Jazakallah khair for the story, Abul Walid. I think I'll go look for some blueberries now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaykum salam. Now, we gained another name of Allah. We have Ar-Raziq. Allah is Ar-Raziq. And he provides for all of his creation. Join us next episode as we collect more special badges with the names of Allah. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And
together we learn about Allah So come and join the fun Everyone come and see what's going on Miss Ripush Come on and join the fun Miss Ripush Together with us Miss Ripush Kids. Media dedicated to Omar.